Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lord of the Rings Online. I'm Dre Adams and we're in Nillin. We are in Rivendell. And on a beautiful, beautiful day. We've sought out the person who needs these fragments that we collected up in the Misty Mountains. So let's go ahead and turn this in to Glorenglir. What do you need? You actually found relic fragments on the snow lurkers? I can hardly believe it, Nilin. I suspected that the such fragments would become entangled in the legs of snow lurkers, but I never observed that behavior myself. My musings have been proven true by your efforts. I am pleased as well that you collected these old fragments, but there is no shortage of those in Imladris. I am now more excited that my musings were correct. I thank you, Nilin. Delarus of Rivendell. Once Master Delarus hears I was correct in my belief that the pieces of pottery and other relics could become entangled in the root-like legs of the snow lurkers of the Misty Mountains, he is certain to give me more interesting assignments. Bring these relic fragments to him, Nilan, and tell him from whence you retrieve them. Perhaps he will send you back to me with an invitation to examine the most precious artifacts kept at Imladris. Ooh, what could that be? I cannot wait to study them with my own eyes. You will find Master Delarus within the library at Lord Elrond's house. He is always to be found there deep in thought. Delarus of Rivendell, and she has another quest. Let's see what that is. Mind huh. my words, traveler. There is much to do in the Misty Mountains to the north. The giants have begun to wander, and there are goblins throughout the fields. I, f I fear our northern border is no longer safe, Nilan. An old friend of the elves, Gloin, has a camp to the north of here, in the southwestern area of the Misty Mountains. Find Gloin in the Misty Mountains and see what you can do to aid him. Oh, we've seen him already. But we'll go and let him know that you said hi. And he'll give us experience for it. Got yourself a deal. You've got yourself a goddamn deal. Alright. Let's make our way up to Elrond's house. Check on him and his library. See if our hope is looking high. Oh yeah, it is. Five hope. That reminds me, I think we have hope tokens. 19 of them. Okay, we're gonna use these. The hope gives you like bonuses to, um, I guess, your morale. I think to your damage as well. Yeah, damage morale. So we might as well use those things. Give us increases to those stats. We have them just sitting there. Up, 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 up. Oh, we actually yeah, we need to clear out our inventory. So we're gonna do that before we set off. We do have a lot of hides, which I guess we'll keep some of us on some of the hides on hand, and then some we'll put in storage so that we can do our crafting whenever we need but also oh he has a new quest too what's going on here Will you lend me your aid once more a uh, forward oh gosh okay so this okay so we can use this to go to aragorn so if, if we do do that next chain let's make sure we go to elrond first to maximize our experience yeah we're gonna put some of the hides away and hold some so we can quest and do like our crafting out in the field and not have to always seek some sort of uh, what can I do for you? bank or something. But we're also going to throw throw a lot of crap out. Uh, this is Delarus. You've retrieved those relic fragments from the snow lurkers of the Misty Mountains? That is very interesting, Nilan. And Glorenglir is to be commended for thinking it possible. In one blow, the mountain passes are made safer for those who must travel them, and we collect pieces of our history for further study. Worthy accomplishments. And yet, I would ask you one question. Did Glorenglir examine these fragments before, you sent you, before she sent sh uh, you to me? I thought not. This has always been her main fault, and it is the reason I refuse to allow her access to the most interesting artifacts kept here. Lauren Glear is more concerned with boasting of her finds, with celebrating her accomplishments, than, when the, than with examining the pieces she has uncovered. Until she learns to contemplate and appreciate the history of the pieces, she will never become a true scholar. 
That's harsh. Stay a moment. That is very harsh. Glor and Glear has not understood the significance of these fragments, no one, but I do. These shards are, are from what must have once been a beautiful vase, crafted long ago by some lord of the Eldar. If you can retrieve more fragments of this vase, it might be possible to reassemble it. Its former glory might be lost to carelessness or necessity, but history leaves us with one certainty. Though broken, something once fair can be made beautiful again through care and goodwill. Return to the source of the Bruin Inn and search the drifts there for um, more fragments. The remaining pieces are sure to be um, the most jagged. Whether you dig them out of the drifts yourself or rely on, on glory and glue snow lurkers, I leave it to you. Be warned, however, that the chance of finding the remaining fragments will likely be quite low, so it's going to be a lot harder. A lot lower rate. I wonder if those patches of snow will have them, and that's what th that was all about. Okay. And he's pretty rough, but I mean, I would expect the the elves to be pretty, you know, stern and like kind of like, yeah, you have to take this stuff pretty seriously. Oh, actually, I probably should have seen. Is there a vendor here, or just? I have to go back upstairs for a vendor. Oh no, there's going to be a vendor on the way to the stables. So, okay, let's open our vaults. What can I do for you? And where do we have hides anywhere? Oh, there we have hides. Okay. Medium we don't need, so let's go ahead and put this one down because 400. Oh, actually, can we combine these? No. I would think you would be able to. That's weird. Okay. Uh, that's fine. We can 400. Just consolidate it down to one. Uh, exceptional hides. Oh, those are ones that are untreated. Okay. Oh, oh no! The, are, oh, these are glaze. That's why I see. So we need both of these. I was wondering why I couldn't combine them. So we need both of these actually in our inventory. What about these ones? Magnificent, glazed, and finished. Oh wow, those are awesome. But we're not at this level yet. Props and shoutouts once again over to Irstan. Oh, and we're full on our stuff. What the devil? Okay, let's clear that. We're not. That's one item. We're not going to use that. Sprigs of allspice. This is apprentice cooking. We're not going to use that. Um, anything else? We're probably not going to use. I think we're using everything else. I'm going to have to buy some space though. Eventually, let's put that down. Let's put that down. I think are these two different tiers? Brushed, pristine, glazed. Okay, yeah. So we are going to need both of those two. And, okay, so I think that's all for the hides that we can get rid of. We're going to have to sell a bunch of stuff. And we're almost ready to, like, this is taking up a lot of space for level 40. We're going to hit that, and then we're going to clear up space that way, too. Uh, okay, here's a vendor. Here's a How may I be of service to you? You can repair my stuff and buy some of these things off of me. Don't need the crossbow. I'll the barrel's probably not going to be needed. Level 42. This is the hat, though. This hat's kind of great. Yeah, let's hold on to that hat. <laughs> let's hold on to that. We don't need that. We could probably send those hides to get treated and hold on to them. I know we have a couple of these for cosmetic stuff. Actually, ooh, this is actually pretty clean. Chest. Does it die well? Sorry, ooh, yes, it dies very well. A lot of items, the colors don't really show that show that much, but this one shows a lot. Oh wow, okay, yeah, we gotta keep that one for sure. Um, I think we're gonna be done with the Warden symbol. It's level 26. Yeah, I think we're done with it. Sorry. It was nice though, it, it treated us well for a while. Um, we'll hold on to the spear, I haven't decided. Oh no, actually, we're, are we close to getting a new spear? No, we have a javelin, we don't have a new weapon. Yeah, we're, we'll hold on to that. This is just taking up space. I don't know what, what that's doing. Let's sell that. Sell that. And breakfast stuff. We'll keep that for cosmetics. How's this look? Oh no, what did I do? I just sold it. Buy back. There you go. I pressed the wrong button. This actually is kind of cool looking as well. 
There's kind of a lot of wildness going on, but I kind of like the wildness. Let's see how it dies. Uh, does it die at all? Okay. Very lightly. So, I think maybe we'll get rid of it. Okay, yeah. We'll get rid of it. We'll, we'll probably find some better stuff. That's taking up space. Oh, leather shavings. So we're going to have to turn that back into our other le leather. Um, okay, I think we cleared out our bag storage as much as we could. Th thanks, guys, for bearing with us. Whoa, and we're in chat. There you go. Okay, how are we looking? Much better. A lot more space. And once we hit level 40, we're going to see all this clear up. Rest assured, we're going to see that cleared up. Yo, why am I back in chat? Get out of here. Get out of chat, bro. Alright, so what are we doing? <laughs> Where are we? What time is it? Still morning? Um, oh gosh, don't fall off. I think we're just going back up to the high crag, right? Misty Mountains, high crag, the other chest. Yeah, so that's there. Is there anything in Rivendell for us? No. Okay. All those damn repeatables. Okay. Careful now. Don't fall off the edge of the cliff. Let's go back to Gloin Camp, turn in the quest there, and then make it back to the High Crag. Ready, break. Uh-oh, the huge ear is about to leave. Bye, huge ears. See ya. Take care. Oh, they're there. Oh, they're gone. Those were some pretty big ears. How can I be of service? You can um, mark up a ride to Gloin's camp, please. Thank you, Lajo Chan. Appreciate it. Yeah. Ah. Ooh. Kind of. Yeah. This is misty. I was gonna say it's. It's got kind of a misty glow. And like, oh, well, duh. It's the misty mountains. All right. Well done. Well done, Lotro. Well done. No dawdling. There is much to do here, friend. I'm glad to you. You are here to aid our cause. Yes. Oh, did we get a deed quest in the misty mountains? I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, quest, and we have three compassion. Are, do we have compassion slotted? Watch out. Whoa. Uh, do we have compassion slotted? We don't. I wonder if this is better. 81 tactical mitt, 84. That has agility. But this has physical mitigation and tactical mitigation. That one's actually pretty good. Uh, maybe this? A lot of resistance. Tactical Mint Vitality. I mean, I think I always want to stack agility, so we're going to keep that there. Resistance. Yeah, that one's good. Alright, I guess we'll stay there even though it's um, level 3. Oh, and we were able to get our determination up a bit. Just um, running through the barrel downs and killing some spiders, I think. So, maybe we'll slot that in. What, 18 agility? Yes, this is actually really good for us. Which one's got to go? We don't really need tactical mitigation right now. That's the thing. I don't think a lot of things do tactical mitigation. So, let us get rid of you, Fidelity. Cool, so we got more agility. Anything else? Nope, we're good. Cheers. Do that. New deed. Okay, for empathy, if we do... How many more quests? Ten more quests. Oh, we can do that. Easy. Okay. So, to the high crag. What do you need? I need you to saddle up your f most swiftest steed. For I make for the high crag.
There we go. What do you need? Goin sent you over to help. Whenever you find your way back to him, thank him for that. There's much to do here. Getting some easy quest turn-ins. Look at that, we're already halfway through level 39. Alright, so I think next we're doing is going south, right? Let's check. Uh, let's take a look at our questing log here, Misty Mountains. So, um, yes, I think this is going to be near Gobblazon. And this is going to be near Gobblazon. This is wherever, missing fragments. And this is, the main quest is near Gobblazon. Um, okay. And they keep mentioning some other paths. Okay, so yeah, we gotta go this way. So where is Gobblazon itself? So like down here? Because they keep telling us to take one route instead of the other route. No. Oh. There's one way to find out. To go forth. Let's see. The mobs are level 42. Okay, yeah, they are getting a little bigger. But since we hit 39... They're still like within our like meaty range, so it shouldn't be too hard to kill them. Once they start getting red, that orange or we call that orange, yeah. I guess those are pretty decent to kill, but yeah, once they start turning red, then I think we're, we we miss a lot of the attack attempts. I think at purple you miss almost 100% of the attack. You can't really kill a purple mob. Oh, I think that's that post they're talking about. And we got a bird on our tail. Take him down. Oh, we're in red still. I forgot that we were in red last time. So do a point. Uh, I guess we, we can hang out in red for a sec. Yeah, I don't see why not. Unless there looks to be like a lot of mobs in one area. Cool, so we did that. <laughs> Just posting up signs. Um, Galaban. Gabalazan Defender. Where the giants dwell. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so you got a shield too, huh? Alright. I see you. There you go. Can you do that, though? I didn't think so. Damn, this guy is stout. I guess the, the Adores have a lot more defense than the stuff that we've been killing. Okay. Now, th yeah, they aren't spread too far out, but we might as well speed this up, right? That's the whole point of having that blue trait line. I'm going to start off by taking some damage down on the one guy, though. Just like he might as well. Oh, he didn't even. Come on, hit him before he. Oh gosh. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Well, these guys are hurting. Okay. Pause. Okay. Let's get our heal off. Okay, this might be a bit more dangerous than what we're realizing. Okay. We still did good, but it was starting to go down a bit. We're, we're going to take all that. We're not going to leave any for anyone else. Not that time. Uh, oh, we can go in there. Let's see what's in here. Going to just sidle in this door real quick. Don't mind us. Ooh. Gabalazan Vault. Wow, this is kind of cool. So I'm going to take this in a little bit. Dwarven area. Dwarven architecture. I love it. Maybe, maybe we should start the Let's Play all over again. I should roll a dwarf. How about that? You guys down? We'll just start it up. We'll just run through <laughs> up to level 40 real quick. Nah, I couldn't do that. I love our Nillin too much to do that. But these guys certainly are really cool. I don't know, I just, I am just loving this dwarf and stuff they do.
Ooh, what's this shining armband? Ah, uh, it's not very good. Look, a level 42 piece, and it's just got 39 power. That's so butt. Um, ooh, Adam, let's grab that. We're probably gonna get a, bolted, a bunch of these. So let's save up. Oh, there, there is a spear though. Level 43. It's not as good as what we have. Damn it. Dab, dab, dab. Oh, is this a corner stone? Oh, we just did like part of the actual book quest. Oh, that's weird. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than that. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to go in far to find that part, and we are doing some of the other stuff that they're asking us to do. Get him. Gosh. Can you go down damage? I guess we'll just do this one. That's guaranteed to hurt him. Searching the cornerstone, you discover the Gabalazan plans. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. Was it even guarded very well? I'm not complaining. Just saying. Well, there should be some other stuff for us to do here, so let's not leave just yet. Um, oh, well, well, we did that, I guess. Collect uh, the strong box. Well, it looks like we did it. The building on the hill to your left as, as you approach. Um, all right. I wonder why it says checked as if like we've done it, but I don't think we've done that yet. I think that's further if we go in. But as you can see on our map, there are a lot more guys around here, so we have to be careful. We'll take him down one at a time, so nothing gets too froggy. Okay. So something on the left. Right? Or just the path on the left? Okay, well this is pointing down. Can we go this way? Okay, let's go ahead and, and pull more. This looks safe if there's just three of them. I think three is our go-to number. Found a missing page, the watch against the night. Okay. Take that. Is this something? Okay, no. Oh, okay, we see a ring there though. So I think we gotta go around the outside. One quick young hobbit goes round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. One fast young warden goes round the outside. Round the outside. Round the outside. Ah, uh, there we go. That's where it's to the left. Okay. Now, what is here? Oh. A guy. Halmore Stone Shaper. Collect the second strong box. Is this, oh, this is one of our friends? Greetings. Or is, no, I guess he's a dower hand too. Who dares enter the tomb of Halimor Stone Shaper, son of Vithor of old? Not even a dower hand is foolish enough to enter here. They know the tale of the Stone Shapers and quake in fear. Yet you are different. You are here for the strong box, aren't you, thieving hobbit? You have only moments to tell me your tale before I cleave you in twain. Might you lend me an ear? No, oh, is. Oh, I guess he is kind of chill. I see. So you were sent here by a dwarf from the Blue Mountains, were you? Perhaps it is long years alone here, but I believe you. Now, allow me to tell you a tale. Long ago, the first Halmir stone shaper, son of Ithor, was charged with guarding the treasures here. He stood sentry day and night, maintaining his post even on the days of feasting. 
Yet he let his guard drop only once, and a vowed dwarf, Hjorthor, Dowerhand, I, I don't even know how to do that. No, we'll just call, call him Hodor. Hodor Dowerhand slipped in and stole a single ingot of dwarf and gold. Having failed in his duty, Halmer swore that he and his sons would keep vigil over the remaining gold until that ingot was returned. I am but one in a long line of Halmers who who have kept his oath. Wow, all that just for one ingot? If you return the stolen ingot, the oath will be fulfilled. The strong box will then be yours to return to the dwarf who sent you. I cannot say, though, where to find Hodor, although the legends of Halmir's failure tells that Hodor is somewhere within Gabalazan. Perhaps there you will be able to find the gold. Well, there's some gear and an axe, but it's not teal or purple or anything. All right. Okay, so we have to find that ingot. I wonder if that dwarf will actually be named or if the ingot will just drop off of a random dwarf. Okay. So that opened more quests. Whoa, okay. Well, here's someone. I was going to say, I was going to check the uh, map to see where we could kind of search next, but we'll... Like, we'll take him down first, and then deal with it. And... Bam! Okay. I think we're looking good here. Clear that. Okay, what is, um... Classing good. So it might be found within the walls of Gabalazan. Suggested you seek the gold out there. Okay. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, I guess we can keep running. Oh man. Right before we got on our fast giddy up, he started throwing axes. Whoa, there be giants. That's a frost giant. Elite. I guess we can't go this way. This way is blocked to us right now. Yeah, get away from us. Are these the guys that we need? No, but we'll go ahead and kill them. Because they might have pages. Scream and shout. Shout and scream. There we go. Too easy. Too easy. Cool. Alright. Well, nothing yet. So I guess we do have to find the guy actually with that name. Because he's... Uh, oh, hold on. I think we got a little lag spike here. Hopefully we don't crash. Okay, we're good. And we're back. And we're gone again. Man, the server's been struggling. I, they are going to do a hotfix tomorrow morning. So hopefully during the hotfix they will kind of fix some of these lag issues. One can hope. Okay. I think I've gotten a, a really good hand down on our rotations here. And then, actually, let's go up to the one skill that we haven't gone up to in a while. The, I think Desolation? They might kill themselves before you can get there. Yep. Oh, saved it just for you. Desolation for one guy. Okay, where else can we go? So I think we can go up more in here. Oh, and speak of the devil. Yeah, there it is. Isn't it? Okay, let's be careful. Let's go ahead and eat some food. Let's go ahead and use some fire, too. And didn't we put our... I must have put it on a different... Thing. Let's go ahead and use that. Get some more health. The hope token? Whoa, there's a lot of mobs around here. That's fine. Okay, just three? We're good. That's our number. That's our number. Oh, this thing. Oh, interesting. 
a reset. Very cool. Oh, you want some too? Guy? Hey, guy. Are you the guy? Or are you the dude? Okay. And I think we're going to go with that Onslaught. Because it always just looks cool when he does it. Let's go ahead and get that supply crate. We're coming for you, Hodor. Oh, yes, we are coming for you. Looks like there's two guys up there. Okay. Let's run in there. Oh, what's, this, what's this guy going? Hey, come back here. You can't run away from me. Did I say we were done here? Oh well, <laughs> kind of looks like Hodor, doesn't it? What do you need? Ah, you've come from one of those fool stone shapers, haven't you? You've heard the tale of their oath over that strong box, haven't you? Well, allow me to tell you a tale. Oh my dear, the first Hodor Dowerhand stole the gold, not for his own treasure, but to make Halmir Stone Shaper look the fool. Upon hearing that Halmir's oath, Hodor swore one of his own. He and his sons would forever keep the ingot and forever keep the stone shapers looking the fool. This is hilarious. I too come from a long line, a long line of Hodor's dower hands. And I shall keep the oath. You shall only have the ingot if you can take the strong box over my dead body. And I don't think that's too likely. I shall not break my oath. I shall you shall not have the ingot. Alright, we'll see about that. This guy's huge though. Why some bleeds will be good. Actually, let's set up some defense since it's like a one-on-one -on -one battle. We're not doing AOEs. We'll do that. And then we'll do Maddening Strike. Oh, Safeguard. Oh, Maddening Strike is with the Shout in there, right? Yeah, there you go. Alright, cool. It's not even like doing a block. Oh, yeah, well, I think we're blocking a lot of it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so much for the block. Okay, maybe because we had that defense up. Defensive strike. Well, yeah, well, yeah, we're blocking everything. And then, nope. Strike, 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 strike. Is this the ingot? Nice. And... Weaponsmith. All these scrolls. Oh, my gosh. I'm over here dilly-dallying. Ooh, uh, we need that potion, though. Okay. Run. We're just gonna run in there and, and use protection of that of that one guy's little keep. Uh, nice, use that rep. Ooh. And, and get up the hill. There you go. Hey, guess what? We got we got the ingot. Well met. My eyes must betray me. You hobbit, you trickster. You cannot have stolen the ingot that has kept me and my kin chained from this place for long years. And yet it is. It is. Can it be so? Has my duty at last been fulfilled? Oh, that's cool. He's, he's, he's going to drop it off, huh? Oh, is that tomb of his forebears? I can hardly believe the oath has been fulfilled. Be at peace, ancestor. The treasures are reclaimed. The swelling of the dwarven music. Can I take it? I'm not sure. Okay, perhaps I'll join my kin in the Blue Mountains. Oh, well, it matters not. Hey, because for the first time I'll be able to go wherever I choose. Oh, that's awesome. It's like a nice story, huh? 
Got that, and so that we're going to take back to Laris, right? So I think we did everything we need to do here. The fragments we're not going to do. And this has been done. So, main quest is back at Gloin's camp. A couple quests are... Oh, let's get on the horse. Yes, barely. Oh, pshh. Strongheart. Strongheart's so weak. He gets one shot at on the regular. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm not fighting any of you guys. So peace out. Let's avoid some so we can get out of combat soon and then hop on a horse. Stoneheart, I'm giving you one more try. Alright. Now don't die this time, huh? Ahaha, bye bye bye. Ahaha, you couldn't get us, you couldn't get us, sucker. Getting some more looks. We haven't been in the Misty Mountains during daytime too much. So I'm wanting to get a little more idea of what this place looks like. Kind of surrounded on all sides. Okay. There we are. Still being chased. I think we're good. At your ah. service. At good, your good. Families. I hope the strong box wasn't too hard to find. Heike Goldwatcher is sure to be pleased with this. Those records of his won't have a bad thing to say about me. Now, I know you've already done so much, but perhaps there is a bit more I could ask of you. Well, ask away, Lauris. Oh, well, that's right. we got to take our quest item. Um, Light armor. Let's see. How does it look cosmetically? If it's not good for us, we'll always check the cosmetic. Whoa. That actually is good. How does it color? Glove, glove. Either way, just that black looks kind of cool. Let's go. How's red? Okay. Oh, yeah, it does color well. So the dye is good. I'm thinking maybe more. Okay. Okay. Cause yeah, with this axe we don't need. Perfect. So we'll take those. Greetings, traveler. Will you stay? Ooh, moment? we got a good necklace. Maybe. That's actually a pretty solid necklace. It's not bad at all. There is but one thing left to do: take the shrine boxes to Heike, Goldwatcher, and Thorin's Hall. I know it's a bit of a trek to go all the way there, but I think it's a proper thing to do. I wish I could do it myself, since it's my reputation that I will that will be besmirched in Heike's records if he's not happy, but I'm far too busy to make such a journey. You'll find Heike and Thorin's Hall in the Blue Mountains. Hopefully Heike won't be too unhappy when you get there. Oh, I'm actually kind of excited about doing that, because I do want to see more of the Dwarven stuff. So we might take a little detour and do that quest. What do you need? Uh, you have returned, Nilin, and I know now I need not to ask if you posted the sign I gave you, for you are a trustworthy hobbit indeed. I fashioned another sign for you to post. I see from your eye that you expect it, that you expected it and are eager to assist again. Yeah, these are easy quests. Just post a sign. Oh, we're getting Thorns rep for this. I didn't even realize. Uh, where is that? Thorns Hall. Okay, so we're now acquaintance. Cool. Lotro points, all that good such trek. Uh, all right, into the high pass. Help me? As if we had enough to deal with here, it seems there's a few of Rivendell's scouts have gone astray somewhere east of here, up in the high pass. A pair of them that passed through some f few weeks ago said there were rumors that a new great goblin has arisen in Goblin Town. And we're going to see if they were true and make trouble for them if they were. Well, there's trouble aplenty up in these mountains without a pair of flighty elves storing up more. Mark my words. But go they did, and we've not heard aught from them since. One of my folk went along with them, a fellow by the name of Iwind. So they ought to be fine. Now that I think about it, 
Iwin is a bit of a hothead himself. He went tagging along with those others as he fancied he would find a bit more adventure up there in the high pass, as he put it. So maybe it would be best if you did go take a look around and see if they're all right. Stuff into the high pass. All right, and let's go ahead and take this horse over to Gloin. So we're in the high pass. Huh, how do we get there? We don't have to go all the way. Huh. Do we go... Yeah, how do we get there? I feel like this... Yeah, this is like off-limit area, right? Because, look, everything else of that color. I'm assuming we have to go through this pass, across down there, and then maybe down through there. What do you want? That is my guess for now. We shall find out Anon. Anon, good dwarf. Anon. Alright. Gloin had the easiest quest out of all of them. Just about. Ah, wonderful. You found the cornerstone and the plans were within. I didn't mention it before you left, but there was a very good chance the plans were taken or destroyed years ago. Yet it seems fortune is smiling upon us this day. Oh, look here. Here's the inner keep's secret entrance. Come and stay a moment, friend. Uh, ah, yes. Why, it will be just like when burglar Bilbo crept into Smog's lair. We'll just need the key to open the secret door and you'll find and you'll be in the inner keep. Finding that key though could present a challenge. Now the old tales of Helligrod, that's the great dwarf hall to the north that fell to the dragon Thorog, say that after it was abandoned, all the surrounding dwarf halls were abandoned as well. The keystones that opened the secret doors to all those halls were hidden in a small dwarf vault near the source of the Bruinen. The building might be in ruins now, but the vault is surely still there. Once we have the keystone, the inner keep of Gabalazan will be open to us. Journey north to the source of the Bruinen and look for the vault at Eastgeld's lookout. You will need to brave the snow beasts that make their homes among the drifts, but that should not be a problem for you, I would expect. No, that's sh that should be fine. We've dealt with these snow beasts before. So I think it's where we posted that sign up. The first sign that we posted, like way up here, Helligrad. Oh no, here's Helligrad. I guess it's it's over here. Oh okay. So it's not towards Helligrad. It's this way. I feel like we were up there, and I don't remember seeing that much, right? What was it called? Stone Color Circle. Yeah, we were up there. Oh well, we'll go back and maybe we'll find some new stuff. Uh yeah, well we did some good. St things this episode I feel like we're gonna it's this is a good spot to leave off right now um, we have I guess a, a good chunk of the main quest line still ahead of us so we're gonna bite that off and I think we are gonna take a journey over maybe we'll start by going over to Thorin's Hall over in um, the Blue Mountains kind of see some more dwarves um, do some things over in that region and then come back so we're kind of experiencing a lot of different areas and look we're getting close to level 40 so we're about to experience a big jump in our stats and hopefully we'll feel that presence when we fight our mobs and stuff but I've had a lot of fun this episode as always I've been Dre Gottams and you guys have been great I will see you next time take care